time, we are getting a full tour tonight of UT's new student union building. Yes, last week we told you about the opening of the project nine years in the making. Well, we have been following it all this time. Our cameras were there in 2012 for the demolition of the old University Center, commonly known on campus as the UC. And like the new student union building, it really was a hub for students and faculty. Then in June of 2015, we showed you the opening of phase one of this massive effort. Now we're getting to see the finished product. New here at 6, WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm takes us there for a close up look. There was a sense of adventure today exploring the three floors of the newly opened student union. All the windows, it's so nice, all the natural light. This 400,000 square feet project took nearly nine years to complete. I love it. Yeah, it's been so fun. Uh, it's like watching someone pass through an amusement park, you know, because the facility has been in the works and is very much a labor of love uh, for so long. UT Student Union now serving as a central spot for offices focusing on students. Included in that, there are roughly two dozen meeting spaces, a 1,000 seat auditorium, a ballroom catering kitchen, two restaurants, and a rec area for students to take a break. What this building really is about is about an opportunity for us to further enhance our sense of community on campus because everybody gets to use this building. So for me, we're using bricks and mortar to really try and provide an opportunity for students, faculty, staff and community members to come together. This is the university's largest project to date and a transition task force was created making sure it opened on schedule. We started meeting a year ago to plan and getting into the facility, making sure that all the furniture fixtures and equipment arrived. We had a all the way down to a delivery schedule and what days trucks were going to arrive. Leaders at UT saying in total the student union cost 180 to 185 million dollars. It's got a lot of nooks and crannies which will be good for studying. So I think it'll be a big um, service for the students to use. But if you know it's down there on the first floor, um, all of those couches are arranged in actual, t they're actually arranged in a T shape. It says we take a lot of pride in our university and even go down to the, even the smallest of details that people may not even notice. It's not so much out with the old, in with the new. In fact, that seal right there is actually from the old student center at UT. It's a little piece of history welcoming in students every single day. Reporting in Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. You know, just last week, the university released some of the footage, so we yes. got to get a glimpse, but seeing the students walking around and eating and enjoying it and looking mm -hmm. up at everything, that's pretty cool. You can tell how excited they are yeah. and proud of it yeah. and, you know, making sure things run smoothly day to day. We're told that UT is very busy right now. That's right. They are training their 100 plus student staff uh, to work there at that newly opened facility. And the student union will also include a U.S. post office branch as well as a passport mm -hmm processing center. So really one stop shopping for all the students. All your needs are met. Gotta love it. Get your studying done. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're thinking about right now. Of course. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>